DNA for Nucleus is kind of like books for Amazon. The idea behind Amazon was actually going to sell everything. We see us selling this diagnostic test that is DNA as actually one of many, 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 many different diagnostic tests that you could sell. Another analogy I like to use here to help you understand this is take like Instagram, for example, and then there's the iPhone. And then the iPhone, basically the proliferation of this hardware device, which is my iPhone, was responsible for the exponential increase in photos data. It was Instagram, namely, that took the data and made it kind of very fun and useful and added filters. Then suddenly all this data that's derived from some different device ends up on Instagram because Instagram fundamentally realized they actually need to build an application layer for photos. They actually don't need to control the hardware layer. And the same thing's happening in health today. The difference is that there's so many more apples. On the diagnostic side, there's blood, there's genetics, there's microbiome, there's epigenome, there's, there's urine analyses, there's full body MRIs. If you really think about what we're doing here, we actually don't care about the physical infrastructure. We just care about the data. So if you can actually build software that somehow could suck up all this data, one thing is just bringing data into platform. But you need to actually build interaction effects of the data. How does my DNA actually interact with my blood? Because the second you show a customer greater insight about their health, by, for example, bringing together their LDL levels and their genetics, then they're like, oh, this is the thing I actually want.